Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths and some more totally scientific, honest uh, combat testing. So, I was just mucking around the other day and feeling like, I don't know, figuring out what to record and I just happened to test uh, the very silly craft you see on the right against the Megalodon. And it was a massacre. It did so much better than I thought. I didn't think uh, that this big silly canoe, the number 500, would actually win. And for those of you who don't know, the number 500 was something I built on stream some time ago. I was getting back into From the Depths after being a little bit burnt out on it. And it's, well, as the name suggests, it is a 500 meter long canoe monitor. Yeah, so it's uh, complete with dancing anime girl on the front, plus uh, derpy snakehead. It has a giant triple barrel 500 uh, millimeter, 6 meter long shell. Uh, uh, Hesh, Heat, HE, EMP shells, it just chucks them really fast. Uh, it has a companion little helicopter, complete with large missiles and a laser. And uh, it is propelled by, well, custom propellers. And it's got a anime girl hanging on for dear life back here. Uh, when she, when the game is on pause, you can see she'll just hanging on the back of the tail there. The tungsten slung over here uh, was built specifically to play through the Caravonian Rebellion uh, custom campaign, which we're working through again live on stream, Twitch, uh, Twitch TV slash Borderwise. I highly recommend uh, watching the building of this thing because it's well, I think it's fun. Actually, the building of uh, the uh, the number five hundred. That thing, I almost called it, is also quite fun. Um, but yeah, so this is a far more sensible craft. It's got... Um, how much armor does it have? I forget. It's a, it's a fair amount. It's armored in a sensible uh, alternating layers. Two layers of metal, one layer of alloy. Pretty thick, very tough. It has uh, six... Uh, what are these things? I think these are 300 millimeter, uh, six meter long shells. Uh, Super Cavitation Sabo. It's got uh, two giant uh, laser turrets, which are very laser. It's got uh, what's it? Tandem Warhead, Heat Hesh, uh, simple weapons on the side. It has a monster lamb system. It has torpedoes. Uh, where are the torpedoes? There they are. And does it have torpedo counters? I can never remember. But anyway, so this is a more conventional ship. And spoiler alert: uh, this is my second time trying to run this because uh, OBS. Uh, my recording software decided to throw a wobbly the last time I did it because, well, these are big ships. Uh, the number 500 alone is over 40,000 blocks. Very silly. Oh yeah, also, the number 500 is completely made of wood. Like, this, its armor is 8 meters of wood. It's very silly. As you can tell by the smiley face right on top of it. So, and both of these ships have cat ears on the turret. So, with that all out of the way, uh, let's have them and them fight. And from my previous experience, and I wish I could go into this blind, but you know, technical difficulties, these ships are quite evenly matched. Um, my recording failed just like, you know, in the tiebreaker round, so to speak. So we'll see how well they do. So immediately you can see that the, uh, the number 500 just spits out those shells. Uh, like crazy and like though I f think I forgot to mention oh yeah I did forget to mention the giant kinetic missiles on it and um, I think I also forgot to mention that those shells also contain EMP so let's look over these shells that is Hesh uh, Hesh Heat Frag HE and EMP and it just spits out I think the middle gun has a rate a fire rate of 120 RPM and the ones on the side have about 60 RPM, so that's a lot of big shells, and they are currently neck and neck in terms of hit points. So yeah, this is a... Uh, it can go either way, really. And the big advantage that the Tungsten Slung has is that um, it has a strong lamb, so it can take out actually quite a few of those shells, uh, but... Uh, this is what tends to happen, is that uh, the little canoe copter tends to distract the tungsten slung, and that's uh, bad, because it means that it starts broadsiding it. I forgot to change that. I really should have. Poor canoe copter. These uh, huge missiles, by the way, have absolutely ridiculous health. And uh, yeah, they look like pencils, and that is 100% intentional. 
or wooden logs, so to speak. And you can see there, these are big lasers shooting at it, and they can just barely damage it. So... And there go the smokestacks. And now let's see who's in the lead. Tungsten Slung is in the lead. Barely. Oh, it looks like. It does indeed look like that the... Oh, dearie, dearie me. The number 500 has been immobilized. I think... Yes, I do indeedy believe -y that the engines have been taken out completely. And that means it's got problems. Because it can't shoot through its own tail. Or, or maybe it can. Who knows? Also, I've really got to... Also, yeah, I think... Yeah, the lambs on this side... Oh, yeah, this thing... I keep forgetting to mention this thing. This thing also has a monster lambs. It's one of the reasons it actually works, despite it being very silly. Is it's got a gigantic lamb system, and it just block spam. It's 500 meters of wood. No, you are not allowed to put innuendo in that. It's rude. Here is the lamb system. It's big. Anyway, the number 500 is one of those things. I simultaneously love and hate uh, the fact that um, I tend to make my most formidable craft when I'm not actually trying. And it's happened multiple times over. I remember a craft, some of you might remember this, it's called uh, the Old Ratio. I originally made it just for like demonstration purposes, saying like, hey, building a craft in three sizes. Small, medium, large, and like you end up with like interesting uh, series of craft. And like prototyping it smaller and then making it bigger. And then that thing turned out to be one of my most reliable craft uh, for a campaign playthrough of Neater, which was hilarious. It was hilarious and cool. And let's see how we're doing here. Looks like... Looks like that main gun is starting to get Sabo rounds poking through it. Let's just follow this over here. What's happening over here? Uh-oh. The lasers have been turned off, and one of the turrets has been disabled. Incidentally, 10 uh, minute uh, time limit on these things, because... Like, we gotta. We just gotta. Because otherwise we could be here a long time. Yes, I caught the shell. I'm trying to do that instead of, um... Instead of just panning over the whole time. I think it might be the fail-safes on those lasers are stopping them from firing. Now, is this gun going to take its own tail off? Because that'll be funny. This looks like it could be a big draw. Or not. Those look a... Yep, that looks bad. Incidentally, um, ammo ejectors are your best friend all the time. I... It's one of those things people kept telling me to use them, and I was like, nah. And then I was like, oh, yeah, actually, that's a good idea. We should do that. Also, I hate how flickery these decos, these decorations on the front are. I should fix that. Assuming I ever touch this thing again, because it's big and silly. You know what I should do? I've recently, like, been off-camera on a canoe bender again. As I sometimes do. And I gotta say... I friggin' love, like, I've said it before, I love Azipod canoes. I should never make a long thing without Azipods, because they're just great. They're so great. It's the difference between something that can barely turn at all, and something that can practically tap dance on the spot. It's fan dabby dozy. I'm still trying to remember, I think the Tungsten Slung has, um... Oh, that's a bit of a fail-safe fail, isn't it? Anyway, what was I saying? Ah, uh, yeah, so... What are you doing? Uh-oh. The tungsten slung is doing the thing uh, where it's um, probably turning in order to um, present its other side. Uh, which is a problem because that is a lot of opportunities for the uh, number 500 to shoot at it. So yeah, that's not good. Let's follow this missile. Actually, let's not follow that missile because it's not going to do anything. Interesting. Am 
I seeing APS components in there? I might change the the, uh, the duck out on the tungsten slung. That might be a good idea. See what I mean? How this thing is, uh, these are evenly matched craft. This is taking a while. Okay, it's taking like six in-game minutes. Doesn't always match real time. It's slowing down a little bit. That monster main gun slowing down a little bit. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a, that makes a big difference. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. I kind of forgot about the torpedoes. It looks like um, the number 500's torpedo... De yep, the, num the, uh, the torpedo defense is dead. It's very, very dead, which means it's all about the torps now. Assuming the torps can stay alive. Are there torpedoes incoming? Yes, there are. I've also recently gotten back into, like, building, like, you know, sticking torpedoes and everything, because that's just a good idea. It's just smart, lads. Is it gonna be enough, though? Funny thing about wood spam is that it's lots of HE. Oh, hello! Uh-oh, somebody repaired there. What do you call it? Yeah, big kinetic missiles. Mostly, they're just annoying. Let's see, are there torps? Ah! Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, two Stali is gonna take this one. Yep. Oh, he torpedoes. Oh man, they they love big wooden things. Madam, this is no time to be dancing. This is inappropriate behavior. Oh yeah, that's uh, hmm. If you can see that, it's a probably a sign your ship is damaged. Oh hello. And this is why talk defense is a very, very good idea. Oh my goodness, right in the guts. Right in the guts, mate. Oh, that's it. That's it. The main gun's turned off. Let's go look at two Stolly. Let's see how she's doing. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, yep, two damage, that's it. Eight minutes, 40 seconds. Number 500 is dead. And that is, honestly, it depends on whether the main gun gets disabled or not. My goodness. Never underestimate torpedoes. Like, I'm starting to think now, like, really, there's a pattern to my ships, and I should really, like, never forget to bring torpedoes. It's just... Super cavitation APS is very nice, but when it comes to blowing things up from underneath, you can't beat a torpedo. They're just good like that. Good old-fashioned acoustic torpedoes. They just get in there and they blow things up, and it's absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Damn it. My inner canoe person is just crazy, like wants to do another number 500. All right, so that's round one. Uh, tungsten, whoopsie daisy. Uh, tungsten slung, definite winner. Uh, she took a hell of a beating, but um, honestly, this is a sign that like I'm finally getting the hang of how armor works. Uh, use lots of metal, derp. All right, onward to round two. Alrighty, we're gonna do round two, and I just remembered that I forgot to mention that as usual, these uh, craft are starting. One and a half kilometers apart, 1,500 meters at 45 degrees, because that's a nice compromise between uh, starting broadside and uh, what do we call it? Starting pointing straight at each other. So let's have at it. Once again, that smiling thing smiles away and does stuff. And number 500 loses health first, but uh, that doesn't always last very long. This is a classic kind of matchup, by the way. It's, um, what we've got is a properly armored thing versus a wood spammer, so to speak. And it depends. Largely on. You know what I should do? I should, um, 
I should change the main guns on the tungsten slung to uh, not, like, always aim for stuff below the waterline. I don't think they need to do that. I think they're fast enough that they can hit things above the waterline. Let's see here. Are you... Oh, yep, that's, um... That's Sabo for you. That's very convenient. Oh, wow. This might... This might turn out even better than last time uh, for the tungsten slung. She's really... Uh, she's really getting in there. She's getting in there making a mess, taking out those engines. Really shouldn't have left the laser defense, um, uh, off the, what do you call it? Off the, what you, what's it called? Off the number 500. And yep, yeah, engines taken out once again. Sabos, uh, tearing through that wood. Oh boy, yep, yeah, this is very much like last time. It looks like... Uh, to Stali, uh, thank you. Whoever suggested that uh, Tungsten, this Tungsten Slung should be nicknamed uh, To Stali, you are a genius and I thank you. I don't remember the username, but you are a sexy, cool person and anyone who says otherwise is WRONG! So anyway, To Stali is uh, clearly embarrassed from uh, the lost footage where... Um, she did not win every single round decisively. She's like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. This, this big wooden joker is not gonna is not gonna have its way. Let's see how she's doing. Whoa, that rift. And this is one of the reasons why, like, when it comes to a giant ass battleship, never leave home without your lambs. I used to hate lambs. And they're still kind of annoying sometimes, but my goodness. My goodness, they make a huge difference uh, in terms of keeping your craft alive. When it comes to a lot of different things, actually. Uh-oh, somebody isn't firing as fast as they used to. Somebody lost some gauge increases. And this, ladies and gentlemen, even though I'm very fond of building canoe monitors like this, having only one big main gun has definite downsides. Uh, that downside being you only have one big main gun, and if it gets disabled, that's kind of it. Admittedly, this one is so massive that um, it's taken multiple shots to the... What do you call it? What happened here? Uh-oh. <gasps> AI dead! My goodness! Well, this uh, this video was uh, much shorter than... Uh, than um, the lost footage one, I can say that. Well, the Tungsten Slung has decided, like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have uh, let her have practice uh, against the number 500 because um, uh, because she really took no prisoners this time around. She was just like, yeah, nah, 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 nah. We don't do that here. I'm not losing to a sponge. I'm not losing to a sponge with a gigantic autocannon. Autocannon or no sponge. I don't lose to sponge. I am made of hard metal. So yeah, that pretty much does it for this. Like, wow, this actually worked out brilliantly. Like, who would have thunk? Also, do say what you want to see uh, the Tungsten Slung fight. Uh, she's already fought the Titan Slung. Or if you want to, like, you know, if we want to have fun and just um, uh, see the number 500 uh, face off against various things, uh, do let me know. And, um... It's a win-win, actually. Like, if you... Oh, here's a... Oh, yep. And she falls off. Well, she... That is... Distressing. How she's just hanging in midair. This is why anime is cursed. Oh, and she's gone. And we're all done. So, yeah, that does it. So, um, whether you love canoes or hate canoes, uh, seeing the Nova 500 uh, fight is win-win for everybody. Because if you love canoes, you get to see canoes fight. And if you hate canoes, you get to see them getting uh, deservedly blown up. So, uh, that'll do it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.